The RAF's first inflatable life jacket was known as the May West, named after the resemblance of the inflated jacket to the contours of the well-known film star of the period. The main concern in 1943 was whether or not the May West was capable of preventing an unconscious survivor from drowning in the sea. Squadron leader Pask made a major contribution to the laboratory's research into flying clothing when he conducted this extraordinary series of investigations. It is virtually impossible for a fit, conscious man to imitate complete helplessness. So Pask himself was completely anaesthetized and floated in various life jackets so that their basic qualities could be studied. The anaesthetic was carried through a flexible tube and weighted with lead so that it just sank in the water. An endotracheal tube with an inflatable cuff was used to prevent entry of water into the lungs. First, to show that there is no deception, the subject sinks when unsupported by a life jacket, thus demonstrating conclusively that a life jacket is essential for an unconscious subject. Pask and his team were able to prove that the May West had acceptable self-writing characteristics that prevented an unconscious man from floating face down. The Taylor buoyancy suit was also tested in this manner and shown to be unsatisfactory in terms of its self-writing properties. Although the subject floats well if placed on his back, if he falls or is tossed onto his face, he will remain so unless he can exert himself. A well-designed life jacket supports the wearer safely even in rough water. If he is placed face downwards, it will quickly turn his face clear of the water.